Assalamu alaikum, this is Halal Foods Kitchen and today we're making a traditional Iraqi dish called Qubba Hamad. It is Qubba cooked in tomato soup. Stay with me to see how we're gonna make it. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can reach our new videos and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. To prepare the outside layer of the Qubba or the shell, we will need 1 cup of semolina, 2 cups of rice flour and I will season with 1 teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. I'll mix the dry ingredients and now I'll start adding the ground beef. It should be uh, with no fat and I will start mixing it very well until I have a dough texture. I'll use some water and I keep on adding the meat and kneading it with a little bit of water. I used around 400 grams of uh, the ground beef. And this is the texture and the color that I'm looking for. I'll cover it and leave it to rest while I prepare the filling. In a pan on medium heat, I will use just a little bit of oil. And here I've chopped a medium onion. I'll stew it until it's soft. Then I'll add the ground beef. I'll keep on stewing the beef with the onion and now I'll season it with some coriander, black pepper and a little bit of mixed spices with the salt and I'll make sure everything is well mixed and combined and I leave it on the medium heat until all the liquids have evaporated. I don't want any liquids in the filling. And now I'll start shaping the kubba. Here I have the dough that we've just made. I'll keep it half covered so it doesn't dry. I'll use some water to just wet my hands so it doesn't stick. I'll take a little bit of the dough and roll it into a ball. I don't want it a big ball as we want a thin shell. Now with my thumb in the middle and my fingers to the outside I keep on rolling it just like that to form like a small ball or a cup. The thinner you can make the shell, the better the kubba will uh, taste. And now I'll start filling it. And I close it like that. And remove any extra um, dough. And I make sure it's well sealed. And this is how easy the kubba is shaped. This amount of dough and filling gave me around 46 uh, kubbas. So we can just uh, freeze them and then keep them in plastic bags and we can take uh, the number of kubbas that we want when we want to cook them but now I'll cook some now to cook the kubba I'll prepare the soup uh, in a pot with a little bit of oil I will stew a chopped onion until it's nice and soft I will add some ch uh, charred leaves chopped charred leaves 
and I'll season with a little bit of salt. And now I'll add two tablespoons of tomato paste and I'll stew it with the onion and chard. Now I'll season with half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of cumin. And now I'll add boiled water. And here I have around a quarter of a cup of rice. I've washed it and soaked it for around an hour. And I'll crush the rice as you can see. Try to crush it as much as you can. And then add it to the soup. This will give us a rich tomato soup. And now I'll add some more boiled water. And I'll start dropping the kubba in the soup. But we make sure to drop them not uh, crowded. I'll drop around 4 to 5 kubbas at a time. And wait for around 1 to 2 minutes. And then drop another 5. Make sure not to drop um, lots of kubbas at the same time. This will uh, drop the temperature of the soup and the kubbas will crack and stick to each other. After we finish the amount of kubbas that we want to cook, we leave it to cook for around 30 minutes on medium heat. You can tell the kubbas are done when they start floating and you can see that the soup has thickened and our kubba is ready now. It's really a delicious dish. I really recommend you try it. And it's an easy way uh, to make it. I hope you like this video. And leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the like button. And please share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can reach to our new videos. And I'll see you next time with a new recipe. Thank you so much for watching.